Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys to another episode of our Let's Play series. So today guys, this might be a bit of a shorter episode. Um, I do not have much time to record. Usually, I spend at least 8 hours on a Let's Play episode, but today I have less than 2. <laughs> so, we probably won't get nearly as much done as we usually do. Um... But I'm going to be busy for the next few days, too, so I want to get you at least something for the weekend. Or else it, you're going to think I'm dead or something. I don't know. So last episode, we built this Enderman farm, and it's working really great. Really well. Not good. Well. <laughs> I, I kept uh, messing that up last time. Um... I asked you guys what we should do for the pixel art for this thing, because we got this big white blank canvas, right? It's a bit of a waste to just leave it as it is. Um, we should give it some more character if we can. And the most requested thing is that we turn it into a watermelon or a lime of some sorts. And honestly, I have no idea how that would work, guys. <laughs> but thankfully, a couple people also suggested I should like make a, a dragon pixel art or something of that nature. So that's uh, that's what we're going to do here. Uh, I actually uh, just checked online for some dragon images, and there was a really good one that I'm going to do here. And I think it's going to fit in the space. So I got my blocks all ready here, and I guess we'll just... Uh, get it going here the feet are going to start right here and here I think we're gonna put it right in the middle oh yeah I think that's looking pretty good right this was actually like a Pinterest post like for a quilt or something I think <laughs> so I never actually saw it in game I was a little worried it wasn't gonna look good but I think it's gonna be good so I'm just I got the outline all done guys I'm filling it in now and it's going pretty good Losing a lot of bone blocks, but it's not a big deal. Um, I thought this episode would be a good one, though, to ask you guys a question. You know how we do the comment of the day at the end of every episode? Every now and then, I like to ask you guys questions, too, though. So, we had the 1.10 release uh, not too long ago. They're presumably working on the next version. My question is, what do you guys want to see in the next Minecraft release. What's that one feature you want so badly that they haven't done yet? Or what do you think they should be working on? Just out of curiosity, I want to see what you guys have to say. I actually thought about it here for a little bit. What what would I say? <laughs> I'll give you my list of three, guys. These are the three features I feel they desperately need to uh, uh, add or address in the game. Uh, number one, of course, is inventory space. They, they've added so many items in the game, and since the beginning, we haven't gotten any more inventory spots, except for the shield space, which is like half of an inventory spot, kind of. <laughs> it's not like a full... Yeah, it, it sort of counts as an extra one. But we need more. We need more desperately. They have made it nicer to like manage your inventory with this whole middle-click thing. I use it all the time now, and it's great. If you want to select a block, if you have it, it's middle click and you got it. Which is really, really useful once you get used to it. Uh, my second thing, they need to deal with the whole uh, slab and stair issue. Because every time they add a new block in the game, people want them to add a, a slab variant for it and a stair variant. They can't keep doing that though, I don't think. Because uh, that also adds to the inventory issue, right? They actually need to create a block that is a slab that you can like put other blocks in. Kind of like the carpenter blocks, but maybe deal with, deal with the problem in their own way, you know? Uh, try to come up with their own clever solution. And ideally be able to rotate the block every which way. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's a big thing. And the other big thing is entity lag. They need to optimize entities in this game, like uh, mobs and just like items on the ground, that kind of stuff. They did take the time to optimize uh, like particles not too long ago, and that was a big, big improvement. Now, if they could do entities too, that would be great. <laughs> yes, that's it, right? That's pretty good. I'm really happy with that, actually. That looks like the the Minecraft dragon, right? And it's actually surprisingly detailed for the size. Like you got the wings, you got the spikes. I think I messed up the tail. It looks like. We need more black there. 
Oh, I got to stop looking at these guys too. But yeah, I think that's I think that's what we want. One thing I might say though is uh, it is pretty plain over there still, right? Like even though that's a that's a big pixel art, <laughs> there is still a lot of space left to fill here. So I was thinking, if we can survive here, maybe we try to make like an Enderman pixel art too, not just the dragon. <laughs> What do you guys think of my Enderman? It's pretty good, right? Oh my goodness! I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it though. Let me uh, let me change this. So I'm I'm gonna move that up. And let's do like a bunch of them. Try to make it look like a pictograph, maybe. Okay, guys. So I think I got this all done. I fixed the tail and everything. Got a couple more Endermen down. Let's go check it out from a distance here. <laughs> Yes! Awesome. I'm really happy with that, actually. What is it about the Endermen? Why do they look so derpy? I guess it's the eyes, because I got the white in there, maybe? But I didn't like how it looked when I, I changed the white to black. I don't know. I, I think it's good. <laughs> that guy on the end there is my favorite, with the the Egyptian arms, you know? Because that's, that's what I'm trying to make it look like, is a pictograph. Cool. All right, well, we'll call that good for the pixel art. Maybe I could f fit some more decorative stuff up there, but I think I'm fine with that. All right, guys, so I'm just getting some blocks here together for our next project. I'll be honest with you, that little bit in the end there took up all my recording time. <laughs> so I couldn't just release a five-minute video. I decided to delay the episode, and now this is a couple days later. I am still extremely busy. But I have found probably two or three more hours I can record today. So let's try to get another project done quickly here. Um, so last time we built that uh, that Enderman farm, I was debating between that and a gold farm or just general building. General building takes a little bit of uh, prep work, though, usually. A little bit of thinking. But a gold farm, gold farms are easy. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today, uh, I think. We'll get started on it anyway. And it should be fun because we can test it as we go here. Okay, but before we start building it, I do want to try to figure out what's wrong with the old gold farm here. So, the bunch of zombie pigmen stuck in the portals right now. I'm going to turn them on. My problem is I have no idea where they're going. Uh, is it this one? Nope. <laughs> it's this one. That's why you should label things too, guys, by the way. So yeah, you see when I turn the portals on, that giant lag? That's our first big problem with this farm. But even after uh, even after they go in it, if we go in these portals, is it going to take me to the same place as them, I wonder? Because I can't seem to find them. Uh-oh, still lagging, still lagging. Yeah, this old farm's not working the best anymore. That's the part that's really confusing me, though, because they're not going to the same place as me when I go through the portal. So where are they going? <laughs> I think I have to look in, like, an MC edit or something to actually figure it out. Because whenever I try to find them, they're just gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a mystery to me, guys. I get the impression portals might be broken in the game currently. Like, the zombie pigmen are going to the wrong spot or something. Because when we both go through the same portal at the exact same spot, I've done this test a couple more times, we should end up at the same place, right? But it's like they just vanished. Like, they, they went somewhere they shouldn't have. I don't know. And we also have that leg problem. So, here's the plan. We're going to build a new zombie pigmen farm. And we're going to try to build it right above the nether hub if we can. So, I don't have to travel too far to use it. Uh, this platform is at Y232. I think ideally we want to go as high up here as possible. Uh, so mobs despawn when you get 128 blocks away from them. They instantly despawn, pretty much. And the bedrock barrier is at like 128, right? So if we go up to the very top here, nothing should be spawning below that bedrock barrier as long as we stand above this point, or at this point here. Um, so we're going to do this 
much like we did the Enderman farm build. Pretty low tech. Let's mark this as our center-ish area. Um, I'm just going to start putting down some spawning platform and see what happens here, I guess. We do have to, like if we plan on standing here, um, no mobs will spawn within 24 blocks of you. So I am going to go out a little bit here before I start building the platform. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a 7x7 seven seven platform here to begin with. This will be our first test. Uh, in the game previously, mobs would not spawn above 240. I think that changed in uh, 1.9 though. So let's take a couple steps back. And now I think they spawn at the very top of the world, right? This is the moment where we want zombie pigment to appear on that. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. Okay, we got gas. Not exactly what I wanted. So that is one problem. Oh, he's vanishing. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow up old, old things here. Oh, snap. Okay, maybe we, we don't want to build at the very top. We might need to add a gas-proof barrier somehow. But, uh, yeah, this is good. We're getting zombie pigmen spawning at the top chunk. So we can, we can build this at the very top of the world here. And we're going to call this hardened clay block here our center point. It's right above the, the elevator we got going up here. So this is the very center of the nether hub, if I'm not mistaken. And then we're going to leave at least a 3x3 three three platform for us to stand on here as well. So I counted 24 blocks out here. And our spawning area is going to start here. And we're going a couple blocks lower than we were before so that we can... We have the option of putting a, a roof over top here that will stop gas from spawning. And also the, the big magma cubes and all that kind of stuff that we don't want. All right. So I'm going to do pretty much the, the donut farm design. I'm sure most of you guys have seen that. Uh, we will try to optimize it a little bit. From what I've seen, a lot of those donut farms have very long travel time. So they'll have like one killing area for the zombie pigmen that they try to funnel them all to. We're going to set up several killing areas so that it's hopefully a little bit more efficient that way. But the general idea is just to get a whole bunch of spawning area down. So I'm going to build a big platform here and then we will start having some fun. Awesome. So I've been uh, building our spawning platform here, guys. A big giant donut. It's got a 53 diameter circle for the interior here. And I'm probably going to make it at least five blocks wide. And we'll just see how that works. But while I was building, we actually got some Endermen spawned. <laughs> so they added this in 1.10 where Endermen can spawn very rarely in the nether. And apparently they can also pick up Netherrack now. So I want to see if we can force, force feed this guy. Oh, look how delicious. I know you want it. Did I push him up a block? Oh, that was weird. Somehow I made him go up a block. It's like he has auto jump. <laughs> Can I do that again? What? Okay, that's very, very weird, actually. Normally you can't do that with mobs, right? Is it just Endermen that do that? Like if I try to push the zombie pigman, he's not going up there. Okay, guys, very cool. So we got a basic donut built now. It's like five blocks wide. Probably a few hundred spawning spaces, though. This will be a good first test for it. Uh, we want to see how quickly they sp spawn and respawn on it. Hopefully, we can get a never-ending cycle of death going on here. So I'm setting up some trap doors here for this test. They see these as regular blocks in their pathfinding, so they actually run off uh, one of them as they try to walk to the next one and walk walk over top of the air and, and just die. <laughs> um, so there's really not much to these farms. You just got to build a spawning area, shoot one of them, and then they should all start rushing me, right? Okay, it's looking good. Looking very good. So now how quickly are they going to come back? I don't see any yet. Oh, there's three, but they're not mad. Yeah, so we need a lot more spawning area. This is not nearly enough. 
Let's try it again. But you see what happens if, like, the guy's over there, for example. Why can't I shoot him? <laughs> What's going on? You see, they got to walk all the way over there and then all the way over here. We need to reduce travel time as much as possible because that takes them several seconds. Um, so we want lots of areas where they can fall down, potentially. Okay, guys, so I just used up all my clay blocks. I doubled the width of this ring, the spawning ring, so we should get double the spawns. Uh, let's try it again now and just see how big of a difference that makes on, on how this works. We have to get rid of you guys quickly. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, is it, is it lagging? Wait a second. They had very stuttered movement. Now it's going quick again, though. Cool. Cool. They're all dying. Very nice. Oh, we got a guy there already. Still very bad spawn rates. <laughs> so we need a lot more spawning area by the looks of it to, to make this do what I want it to do. Yeah, seriously. Why are they not spawning? Oh, man. That took forever. Yeah, we need a lot more area then. Whew. Hmm. But yeah, I am totally out of time here for today, so we'll have to finish this up another time, unfortunately. Sorry for uh, rushing this episode a little bit. Let's just go down here. Oh, they're getting stuck over there. Ah, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, that explains it. That platform is a, pro a big problem because they're landing on it and then getting stuck. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, guys, I do have to wrap it up here. A little bit on the shorter side, I apologize for that, but uh, next week my schedule's back to normal, so hopefully everything is good again. Uh, here is a comment I picked out for today, though. It says, Etho, do you sing at all? I was wondering if you could sing the chorus part of Way Down Yonder in the minor key, because it is such an earworm. Uh, yes, I can sing. I can sing because everybody can sing, <laughs> but very few people can actually sing well, and I am not one of them. I cannot sing in any key, I cannot hit any note, I am tone deaf. I am very monotone, and have very limited vocal range, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, hope you have a good weekend. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, take care. Bye-bye.